Ceratops. You say it zoo ni ser tops My name means Zuni horned head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! This is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuni Ceratops. I'm the first Ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See? At the tip of my nose. Not very big, just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now! I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush, so I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day, and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores, and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! hello to the sun. You wait right here, babies. Mama's just gonna go talk to these folks for a minute. I'm Gallimimus. That's ga -li -mim -mus. My name means chicken mimic. A mimic is someone who copies someone else, but I don't think I copy a chicken at all. to know what chicken is as long as me. From the top of my head to the tip of my tail, I'm almost as long as a big car. I didn't see you there. 
You see, even though I have these really big, pretty eyes, I can't tell how far away things are, or even things right in front of me. I have to look sideways, like this. My babies! Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder what they'll be. <gasps> Baby Gallimimuses, just what I wished for. Well, I better start feeding them. Bye! It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Mo. We're very special dinosaurs called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. could have raced Australia and back by now. That's where fossils were found, in what's now known as Australia, a place called Minmi's Crossing. Get ready, get set, and... Uh. Eh, I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me! me. Go. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing, but somewhere else. Bye! <laughs> My friend, welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. 
No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop up my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must sun myself. Sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Heart. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken, just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? <laughs> It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> Gotcha! Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afro-Venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. 
Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Gotcha! Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Well, hello there! I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic Forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus! You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. Hmm, <laughs> I smell something yummy. Is it in here? Sigh. As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places. But that's why I have this really long neck. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? Have you seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! I also have these cool pig-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... And stay out! Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the death of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num -num Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! I'm Supersaurus, and welcome to my home here in the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. My name means super lizard because I'm so big, one of the biggest dinos 
ever. You gonna eat those? Yes, Charlie. I'm going to eat those. We have to eat all day long. It's the only way we can grow this big. Uh, I feel faint. I'm wasting away. <laughs> I need to eat something. But right now, I have to find a pond or river so my herd can have a drink after we mow this field. Uh, water, water, I need water. <laughs> 43 meters long and 16 meters high. That's super sized, all right. <sighs> so thirsty. I'm delirious. Mother, is that you? No, Charlie, I'm not your mom. She's back there with the rest of the herd. My neck is really long, but I don't lift it up high as it's too heavy, but it's perfect for pushing through the trees to find more food. Or, hey, water. Hey, don't take it all. It's my turn. Come on, move over. Don't worry, Charlie. There's plenty for everyone. I'm going to tell the herd I found water. We live in what is now Western Colorado in the USA. Hey, everyone. There's water in the conifer forest over there. You going to eat those? Pinacosaurus. Say it with me. Pinacosaurus. That means plank lizard because of our armor plates. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 78 million years ago. This is my band. We don't have a name yet, but that's Ying, that's Yang, and I'm Pin. Wait! Not until I say go. We're ankylosaurs. That means we're armored dinos. We also have big clubs in our tails for defending ourselves. Or making music. No, no, no! I wasn't starting the song. I was showing everyone how I defend myself against a carnivorous dinosaur. <laughs> when our band goes on our first tour, we're gonna leave from what is now China. In fact, we're the best known dinosaurs from China. We'll soon be the best known dino band too. Oops! Very funny! These spikes and armor help us to defend ourselves, but they can make it tricky to get around. We're medium-sized at five meters long. We're much longer than a golf cart, but we're only one meter high, same as a mailbox. Like other ankylosaurus, we have a beak, which helps us cut low-growing plants. We're like dino lawnmowers. Hey, what a great name for our band. Let's show them what the dino lawnmowers are made of. So, enjoy the show. period. You haven't seen three of my herd around here, have you? My name is Scootalosaurus. That's Scootalosaurus, but you can call me Scoots. My friends and I like to hide from each other. My name means little shield lizard. My shield is made up of all these little armor plates. They help to defend me and hide me. I'm a bipedal herbivore, which means I eat plants and walk around on my two back legs, but I am top heavy. Now, where did those guys go? I'm from what is now Arizona in the United States of America. I have a beak and special teeth, which allows me to eat all these tasty plants. Oh no, not the Dilophosaurus again. Come here, you little morsel. Jump in my mouth. What? Where'd he go? 
Ah, that's better. I'm safer here with you, right? See, I'm just a little guy. I'm about the same size as you. Now, if I was my herd, where would I hide? Hmm? Hmm? Oh well, maybe if you come back later you'll see them. But you'll have to look closely. Bye! <laughs>